Hey everyone, it's Trace Face. Hope everyone's having a great day out there and uh, trying to stay away as much as possible, as much as you can from the chaos, the toxicity, and the continuous caca baloney the narcissist likes to throw out to as many people as possible. Today's message, uh, <laughs> today's message is brought to you by the caca baloney of the narcissist. And, uh, you know, we know that the narcissist is full of caca, full of baloney, all right? That's what they are. They are always telling tall tales. They are always going around whatever story you have to say. They've been there, done that, did it bigger, did it better. Uh, and a lot of the times they are looking at your... Uh, whatever you're telling them and they're waiting for you to get out of their vicinity so that they can talk caca baloney about you because that's what they're all about guys all the time every day it's all about living this facade you see so they have to be able to get away with things and live this facade and it's always about them and the little world it's a very small world that they live in guys very small-minded, small ideas, big, big pipe dreams, <laughs> big pipe dreams with really small, a small-minded mentality, all right, because they're living in that darkness, dwelling in the shadows, and continuously looking for that low-vibrating plane that they are uh, on a continuum of living and finding others to live in with them. So along with all of that, you guys, the narcissist is also a continuous know-it-all. Oh, they know everything. They know everything there is to know about everything. They will argue with you. They're the ones sitting behind their computers all day long arguing with people. When the internet came out with all these platforms for people to sit around, waste their time, and, and have arguments with others, that's what we're talking about here. It's them. And, you know, they get, they get people to, to, they really know how to tick people off and get people to play along with, with their games. All right, they'll bring people to, if you let, it ha if you let them get to you, they will bring you into their, their little world of anger and jealousy and rage and sadness and depression and that constant continuous jealousy. They're always jealous of people. They're always competing with people. Well, along with that, if you try to tell them something about you, something about your life, something that you happen to have done, something that you're looking forward to, they always have something to say about it. Why? Because they're know-it-alls. The first thing you got to understand is that these narcissists don't give a crap about you. They don't give a crap about anything that you're doing. They don't give a crap about anything that you have going for you, anything that you um, have, have accomplished that you're working towards, your own goals, your own needs, your own, uh, you know, anything having to do with you. They will, uh, they're just going to, to, uh, keep you in this state of mind of thinking that they care, but deep down, they're not even listening to you, you guys. They're just waiting for their opportunity for them to have the table, for them to speak. They are constant interrupters. Narcissists interrupt all the time. They love to interrupt, especially especially when you are trying to argue a point with them and they know that you're right. They know it. So this is when they continuously will interrupt you over and over and over and over again where you can't get a word in edgewise. And that's why the cycle of like continuously arguing goes on. Because for some of you that are strong and do want to get your point across and don't want to just, you know, put your head down and shuffle behind them and shut up, uh, it will go around like this. It'll make you crazy. The cycle that just keeps going around and around and around in circles. It's crazy making. You can't win with these people. You can't 
think that you're going to win. How you win is letting them think that they got away with it, letting them think they have the table, letting them think that they're right, and quietly getting your exit plan together and getting the hell out. They're always about trying to control. Everything in their life is about trying to control you and trying to control everyone around them, trying to control the narrative of how people see them. The minute somebody has caught on that they are a troll and that they are actually uh, evil or that they're, you know, they're they're manipulating, they're starting trouble, they're two-faced, all these things that these people do. The minute that they know someone has caught on to who they are, they are going to try everything in their power to start that smear campaign going now against you. Let me get as many people that believe my caca baloney to believe that you are the one that uh, is the narcissist. Let me do this. They're really good at it because as we know, guys, they have that little pool. They have that little following, the little minions and the people that they are getting to, uh, to believe them that don't really think for themselves, that, that haven't seen the mask that the narcissist is wearing. Um, and those are the people that they stick around, that they're going to stick around, that they're going to be with, and uh, that they're going to try even harder to fake and fool. So you being that person that is smart and sees right through them and has ripped apart the mat, ripped off that mask, and is now, you know, that's, that is, that is their worst nightmare. This channel is their worst nightmare. Other narcissism channels, their worst nightmare. Because all their little tricks are coming out. And as I said before, it's, you know, they're going to sit there and they're going to, they're going to, the only thing they have left to do is start calling other people narcissists because that's the only card they're going to have left. Everyone out there is getting the education, the wisdom, and the knowledge on these people to knowing what they are and knowing to stay the heck away from them. And that's the goal. Let them all be with their kind, narc it up, you know, energize their bunny together. Keep going and going and going with one another. Leave us good people and us empaths the heck out of your disturbing life. So don't forget, you guys, that there's no, there's no trying to argue with a narcissist. There's no trying to get your point across to a narcissist. You are wasting your time, your breath, your energy. You're wasting valuable and precious time in your life that you could be out there, uh, you know, living a narc free life 100%. So don't, don't think that, you know, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to go home tonight and tell her what a narcissist she is. I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell her what she did that was wrong. (laughs) Guys, they don't. They don't think they do anything wrong. Hey, and if they do, it's your fault. It's your fault that she opened her legs to Tom, Dick, and Harry last week. (laughs) That's your fault. Okay? It's your fault for being so stupid. It's how they think. Don't waste your time, guys. They are know-it-alls. They are, uh, they're going to be this way. They're going to be they're going to be telling lies to the maggots 6 feet underground. They're going to be lying to the maggots, okay? They're going to continue their lies in the next life. They will probably be those maggots in their next life <laughs> that are feeding on their dead body. All right, I'm done. Narcissists, uh we know what they are. Stay away from these people, guys. They're going to bring you down into their world and it is a very dark very disgusting very sad pitiful uh, you name it world that you don't want to live in i'm trace face it's time we all face the truth together